So the number one reason why I'm not a Muslim is because I believe Jesus died on the cross. But it's my understanding that Muslims and uh, or the Quran maybe says this specifically, but you guys believe that Jesus didn't die on the cross, that it only appeared that he had died. But my question to you all is, why do you believe that? Thanks for your question, bro. And yes, Allah says in the Quran, وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ That it was made to appear as if he was crucified. But when we look back at your question, we can actually reword it to, why should I trust the Quran over the Bible? That's essentially what you're asking. So I'm going to do a small comparison before I make my point. The Bible has 30 plus anonymous authors. The Quran has one and can be traced back to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Bible has multiple Gospels, many of which have been lost through history. The Quran is one book and has always been one book. The Bible is not in its original language. It's been translated, which means much of the original meaning has been lost as a result. The Quran is in its original language and remains so to this day. The Bible has gone through many changes throughout history. The Quran remains completely preserved and we can prove this as Muslims. And finally, there are many contradictions found across the Gospels within the Bible and in the Quran, there's not a single contradiction. Now, my question is, if both these books claim to be directly from God and you were to present these points to any rational mind, which one are they going to trust more? The Quran, right? But then you might ask, why should I believe the Quran if it came much later than the Bible? The answer is very simple. We believe as Muslims in all the previous scriptures as well. We believe they came with the same message, which is to know one God and to worship one God. But man corrupted these messages over time, which led to Allah revealing the Quran as the final revelation to never be corrupted ever again as a guidance for humanity. Then you might ask, why would God allow all these previous scriptures to be corrupted by man in the first place? And the answer is very simple. All these previous scriptures were sent to the specific communities in that specific time. The Qur'an was sent to all communities, all humanity, until the end of time. Which is why you find that the Qur'an is the only one that is completely preserved. And finally, I wanted to point out that we can actually prove that the Qur'an is the direct word of God. So I recommend clicking onto my channel and watching this video, and that will make things more clear for you, inshallah.